Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So today, okay, we will discuss on tutorial 11. So I hope we have uh, tried to do this tutorial. Uh, so I will show you how to uh, solve uh, this um, this question. Okay, but uh, actually, if you are just answering the question, okay, you just uh, follow what the question want you to do. Okay, for example, okay, the first one you need to create booking.html. Okay, and then what is inside this you need to have the form okay this is the detail of the form so this um, so normally in the question it will detail out okay what are the field that you need to have okay what kind of information that you need to have in the form okay and then after that okay, you have king action .php. okay this one is when you uh, you click button book now so it will go to the bookingaction.php where it will save your data into database which is the table name is a reservation okay so this is the detail of the attribute that you have okay this is example of the table design okay okay so i actually have included all the solution okay now we try to make it work okay Okay, so you need to have uh, your notepad. Okay, paste uh, or type again. Okay, the solution. So in this uh, example, there is no table. Okay, so if you look at the output so you need to very careful okay um, and then you need to determine whether it has a um, table or not okay okay and then you save as booking.html okay since uh, you need to make it work so make sure there is no error in terms of the syntax okay so where you put the file so this is important because you are now having a file which is a server side HTML is client side but you have another one is PHP so you need to put in the folder XAM or WAM and then folder htdocs okay so you create a new folder for that okay, let's say uh, we rename the folder as booking okay okay and then open that file and open that folder and save your booking.html here Okay. okay, so if you want to make it, uh, uh, you, you want to look at the um, sample output, for HTML, you can directly open in the default browser. Okay, but for PHP, okay, I will show you how to do that, to display. Okay, so this is your output sample uh, output. So you can try to edit and then to make it uh, beautiful. So when you click button uh, button book now suppose it will go to the okay booking underscore action dot php right okay but this one okay we, you could not access because maybe there is no file okay uh, so this is the error message uh, file not found right okay so next step okay we create okay the booking action dot php Okay, so you right. Okay, and then you need to save this file as booking underscore action dot php. Okay, where you save the file? So in the same folder as your HTML before this. Okay. Okay, so htdocs in the booking. Okay, save. Alright, after that, okay, we look again at the code. We, it is not complete. So, you need to have the connection database. So, try to have... Um, uh, okay, before that, okay, we just put the... Okay, I will put... Okay, so this is the setting for your... Uh, okay. So, setting for your database. Okay. Okay, that one. Okay, and then this is setting for the 
uh, for your database also okay so before you connect to your uh, or before you insert into your um, table okay all right okay so make sure okay okay we try to save this one and then okay how to run okay next step you need to run your exam okay you cannot directly and uh, open your control panel okay make sure uh, you you run your server first okay apache and also my sql because we uh, have now is the database okay after that okay we try to go to your local host okay and then slash booking folder okay when you have your uh, database class okay so you need to have two things okay in terms of interface okay and then in terms of coding and also you need to have the uh, set uh, the creation of your database okay after this i will show you how to create your database based on the question okay so this is two files that we have okay first is you have booking html okay we try to enter okay what we have we try to fill in the form Okay, and then book now. Suppose it will go to the booking and question dot php. So now we, you don't have the um what it will say that you don't have the could not connect. So means that it it appear could not select database. So it appear um this okay could not. Oh, sorry could not select this one okay so actually okay which one you don't have okay so this one is okay for your uh, database my sql connection okay because you have your host username and password okay but now it cannot uh, detect your database because it not exists okay so what is your database name here record so now okay you need to uh, have setting of your database now we will go to the page my admin okay php my admin okay and then you need to create your database based on the uh, question okay setting for the question okay so how to create database okay now you go to the click to the database okay and then Make sure the, the spelling of your uh, your database name is correct. Okay, what is your database here? Record. Okay. Okay, and then create. Okay, how many table that you have? Okay, in this question, okay, only mention. Uh, okay, insert into reservation. Okay, what are the attributes that you have? Okay, this is all the attribute okay now okay we uh we just have the database yet uh, first okay now we try to connect or we try to run okay okay so local host again and then go to the booking okay then we try to go to the booking action okay so this is what happened okay so you have uncaught an error here okay so it actually could not find this one right so now okay or we try to go to the form first okay try to add data okay book okay so you um have error on the mysql query okay where is your query okay this is your query mysql query okay where you uh need to insert okay so another way for you to have your query here okay this is um okay i will show you the, the normal way to insert query okay this one okay so you can have this okay also this code also okay in terms of this one okay instead of you write this one you can also write this one okay so you can choose okay which um statement that you want to have okay
Okay. Okay, now. Okay, so it will give the error message. Okay, what are the error message? Query fail. So what is the query fail here? Because okay, this one, okay, I improvise the code. Okay, you can see of this. Okay, this one. So it could not connect the okay query. Okay, this one with because we don't have the table, right? Okay, so now we create table reservation. So how many attributes that we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So six. So we have six. So make sure you follow okay the correct spelling of your uh, table and attribute. Okay. Okay. Reservation. Okay. We have six. Uh, and if you want to have your ID automatic, so seven. Okay. So the first one will be your ID, okay, which is auto increment as your primary key. Okay. Int. So you can set the size. For example, ten. Okay, and then you can put the okay AI up to increment. Okay, from key go. Okay, then sorry, where is it? Okay, I resize the size. Okay, now okay, the next attribute is we have the booking underscore num cast name. Okay, what is the uh sample of the input that you want what is the suitable data type okay let's say you have the number uh, together with the characters okay so you can put uh, the size is 30 okay and then uh, cast underscore name okay vacha let's say you put 100 okay and then what else you have uh, contact num underscore num Okay, this is INT. Let's say you have 30. Okay, and then room type. Underscore type. Okay, what is the room type? Okay, maybe you put vacha and then size 30. Okay, then you have duration and also the charge. Duration. Okay, INT. Charge is full. So what is important here class, you need to make sure that all your attribute name is same as in your code, okay, in, in your syntax. So if you spell incorrectly or you have um, missing, for example, underscore and so on, it will have, uh, it will display the query field because it cannot match, okay. Okay, and then after that you save. Okay, so now we look at the record. Now we have one table here. Okay, record is your database name. Okay, and also table reservation. So this is the structure of your table. Okay, so now we try to insert data. Okay, okay. Now this one, okay, is actually uh, what you display back. Okay, we look at our code. Okay, this one. Okay, this is actually... Uh, Okay, display the uh, data okay from the form okay this is not from the table uh, means that it this is not from the this code is not uh, get data from the database table okay okay so now we look at the database okay at what well, either we have uh, in, uh, it is successful save all your data or not okay so okay yes it is successful uh, save your data in the table reservation okay if it have problem so it will display the query field okay this is bad much better for you to for your project okay because you can detect whether you are successful or not okay but in terms of how you answer the question, you just you can just follow what is a uh, sample of the answer scheme. Okay. Okay. And then let's see how you want to display uh, from the 
uh, database okay so you need to have actually quite long okay because uh, okay it is have the uh, if you want to if you want to uh, display back from the database so you need to have uh, SQL statement select all okay from the reservation okay order by which uh, how you want to display so this is example where you display in the table okay okay Right. So to retrieve from database, okay, you need to have select all, okay, from which table, okay, and then if you want to sorting, okay, so you can use Casper and then using ascending, okay, and then uh, you use the um, my SQLI underscore fetch array because this one is you have more than one data, okay, so that's why you use the array concept to display in a, uh, all the information, okay. Okay, let's say, okay, I enter another information, another booking. Okay. Right. Okay, so this is the data that retrieved from the table. Okay, now we look at your database. Uh, so this is a data so this is a very simple okay uh, where this in this example including the um, safe data okay insert into okay which is using the um, SQL statement insert into so this one is to save data okay and then this one is to display back or view okay so using select all okay Okay, so I hope that you can try okay, this and then to make sure that it works, okay, you need to have these uh, two files okay, and then after this, I will share with you my solution uh, in the Google Classroom. Okay, and then you can uh, try it yourself, okay, but you need to create your own database also, okay, which is this one, database name record and also table reservation, alright. So I hope you I hope I hope that you can try your okay, class. Thank you very much. Good luck.